So I got around to watching a new series from Summer of Anime 2019, Mouse Sama Retry. Now, obviously, the reason why I give this series a shot is because it is a, a Sekai series, and I think by now, people know my thoughts on that type of series. So, I give it a shot, and I think that... It's a good series, but it's definitely not something that I think is going to be amazing. Like, I don't think it's something that is going to hold maybe my attention for long, depending on the, where the story goes, because it is honestly... It's okay. Like, it's an okay series. And uh, let me just dive right into it. So, Mouse Summit Retry... It seems like it's trying to mesh a lot of different Asekai series into one. Like, there's a lot of things that made me feel like it's a bunch of different series. Like, it made me feel like at one point it was Overlord, because you have it to where, you know, the main character is like the main villain, the Demon Lord, but also it's in a game. And then you have, like, this character introduced that's, you know, Aku, that it looks exactly like Rim. Looks like someone from ReZero. So it's kind of like they're trying to fit in, like, ReZero theme going on. And then there's this little vibe hinting at, like, a nation being created or something, potentially because of, you know, this demon lord. So it has, like, reincarnated as a slime vibe going on to it. And then it has this other vibe where it kind of feels like how not to summon a demon lord. Like, if you ever watched that anime that aired a few seasons back, it's kind of like that, too. To where you're just like, it seems like they're trying to mix, the writer tried to mix a bunch of different famous series, famous Asakai into this one to try to see if people would enjoy it and make it work. I don't know how popular this series is. I don't know if it's, you know, really, really popular in Japan. It could be. I have no idea because, honestly, I never heard of it until this anime got announced. But so far, it's okay. It's an okay first episode. It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing atrocious. But if there is one thing I will say that is atrocious about it, it is the art slash animation. Now, hear me out. I can look over art and animation. I can. If the story is strong, I can't overlook it. Okay? I've had many series that I have watched in the past that don't have good art and animation. I'm able to overlook it as long as that the story is very strong. Overlord. Perfect example. Even Overlord, with its really shoddy a animation, I was able to overlook a lot of that because of the story was strong but the final part of you know the late, last season was uh kind of nasty in terms of adaptation and the story was kind of ruined so let's not get into that but the point is is that i can overlook art and animation but even then though there's still a certain point to where you have to have a line a standard because this is the first episode mouse summer retry episode one came out and usually, within the first episode, it's supposed to be the pilot episode that gets people wanting to continue, gets people wanting to watch more. And if the first episode has such low-quality art and animation, then what we can expect going forward is something much, much worse. Something so bad, like, it's just gonna be still images constantly throughout the entirety of the episode. And that's, in a lot of ways, kind of how this first episode was. It was... Very still imagey. Like, there were so many scenes to where the character, Malsama, he was walking, and it looked like he was just like a, an image just being moved in Photoshop to, from the right to the left and all that, just moved slowly while the background is just being moved, being framed to move, and it's just one frame just kind of skidding behind him. It's just like, it's so poorly animated, and the art is kind of like, meh. That I'm just like, if you're try trying to show this level of art and animation on the first episode, that's bad. Even One Punch Man Season 2 had better art and animation than this first episode. And they were falling behind heavily in production. Their production was bad. It was very bad. But even then, their first few episodes was still great. And then it went downhill, but then up again. But the point is, is that even One Punch Man Season 2 had way better art and animation than this first episode. And that's saying a lot. So I don't know currently how the production cycle is of this series, 
but I really doubt it's healthy. I really doubt the production cycle is healthy, or the people that are working on it might not care. I, I don't know what it is, but yeah, that is definitely something that stood out to me while watching this. So, plot-wise, what it's about. Um, well, obviously, since it's a Sekai series, our main character is transported into an alternate world. The thing is, is that there's a spin on it. This world, or at least his character, was created by him. Like, in a sense, he created this entire game, this game world and all that, and eventually, he sucked into his character that he created, the Demon Lord character, and he now lives as him. And he's in this new world and all that, and he's as his character. And he has to figure out why he's there. He meets this character that's very much like Rim from ReZero. And right now he's having the information gather. He has to figure out where he's at, how this world works, and just what he can do next. And that's pretty much all we are given within the first episode. It's a very vague beginning, which is a good... And a bad thing, because we don't really have a clear-cut objective. We don't really know what this series is really going to turn into, which is why I said I get the vibe of Reincarnated as a Slime. Because Reincarnated as a Slime is about Rimuru creating a nation. And I get that same feeling, honestly, from Malsama. Since it's called Malsama Retry, I feel like he's going to retry creating this world as a better place, and making probably a nation or something. That's the feeling or vibe I get while watching this first episode, making different decisions that are obviously a lot better. Now, um, another thing too, is that we found out that our character, Malsama, he's incredibly OP, which once again, like I said, Overlord vibes, is that he ended this enemy that was apparently very strong in this world. Like, in terms of power of that world, that enemy he one-shot like nothing, was extremely powerful, kind of, like, really high up there. So, he's potentially the strongest being in the world, and really not gonna have any challenge whatsoever. So, we'll see where that one goes, but, like I said, it's a very... It's an okay. It's an okay first episode. I don't know if I will continue it, because it hasn't really caught my interest yet. You can throw in a lot of different themes together, but just because you have all these popular themes in one series doesn't mean that it's going to be a good series. That's the big thing. It comes down to execution, and the series hasn't really demonstrated that yet to really show that execution. Now, granted, it's possible that this anime is not properly adapting the light novel. That's possible. And if that is the case, it could ruin the emotions you get from the original source. So that is something to consider as well, because normally when it comes to light novel adaptations into an anime or whatever, light novels into an anime, usually they're not done right, and there's a lot of dialogue that's skipped out that kind of gives more details on the world and the characters, so that's possible. It's possible that maybe the reason why this doesn't have that sticking power or something really great is because it's being just watered down so much by the animation and the art and the people that are working on it. That's It's possible. So, yeah, that's my thoughts overall. Like I said, I'll see how episode 2 is, I'll see if it's good or not, but for now, I'm on the fence with it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you, If you enjoy my content, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a video, please click the bell icon down below. And with that, Chibi out.